Try to brush up. <laughs> Yo, bad boy. Let's have it. Brush, crazy dog. Yeah, let me have it. Let me have it. Let me have it. Little monkey. Cut one talking about his uh, balances and seals last week. Made me remember that uh, I haven't done anything about mine yet. Uh, and they've still got paint on them, so because I've just stuck them on the roof of the shed. <laughs> so, um, just found them plus the, the headlight bezels, surrounds, whatever you want to call them. And there's um, just slung, better tidy up. Um, yeah, I've said, uh, what was I going on about? Oh, yeah, so I was, anyway, I stuck the roof on there, and which reminded me that there's a there's a piece of uh, metal that goes in there, each side, so I need to get a bit of channel. Um, so I need to find what I've done with those, because they've all got paint on them still, so I need to get them off. And get them into uh, primer as well, whilst I'm doing it, because it's all part of, it's all integral. You know what I mean, don't you? There's no point to getting halfway and going, oh bugger, I need to put them seals on. A bit late by then. Okay, I've got um, one of the seals completely cleaned up. I'm out of paint stripper, so it's all um, wire wheels and sandpaper discs and stuff. But um, they look pretty good. There is some rust pitting on them, but it's not, it's not mega stressful. Anyway, um, the, the previous owner of the car, about, I don't know, when, I, when did I buy it? About six or eight years ago. Yeah, they were brand new then, so and they were on the car already. Um, so I'm going to put some of my Genolite on it and get uh, treating some of the... You can see the, the rust, it's nothing nothing exciting. Literally, it's just pits, so... I've basically coated the whole thing inside and out with this... Um, what did I call it earlier? Genolite, didn't I? Flipping it. Using the plot. Anyway. Uh, rust converter. Um, and then I'm going to sand off, um, sand it off again tomorrow when it's dry and then um, it will be just left in the pits. So we got um, lashings of lovely zinc primer on there now. Um, I'm trying to concentrate, making sure I get enough on the edges. I think it's... Um, One of the things I keep forgetting is the edge. The, you know, the very, the one millimetre, one and a half millimetre edge. But anyway, um, so I'm sort of spraying them first and then getting the rest later. I've got to tell you this just because it's funny. It's stupid, but it's funny. So I use, um, using wire wheels. I had this one on my drill. Um, and I and I get my mind wanders when I'm doing jobs like this. To be honest, um, just wanders. Don't know why. I think I was thinking about elephants or something. I like elephants. I want to be an elephant when I grow up. Um, anyway, my mind my mind wandered then. Look. So every now and again, I um, flip the drill on reverse, and it um, really gives it a good bit of bite. And. Uh, the drill caught an edge, jumped out my hand, and tightened up on me, in front of my trousers. And luckily, it, um, the drill actually literally came out of my hand, and it, and I had hold of it by the lead. I should have just dropped it, <laughs> but it didn't quite tighten up enough. Thank goodness. Whew, that was close. Got some big and stingy looking in the garage. Let's see if I can find it. Yes. 
don't know how to look at it. Big. It's about as big as my thumb. Look at that. <laughs> it's gonna have to die, I'm afraid. I don't like killing animals particularly, but that thing. Look at the size of it. It's literally as big as my thumb. I'll tell you what, that was scary. That thing was so big. I don't I made this rolled up cardboard big giant bee whacker. I went to whack it, it come over, took it out of my hands and hit me back with it. That's how big it was. Honest. Um okay, so I've got this little problem. Uh which I wasn't expecting to be honest. And I don't know why I've got it. Doors height is about right, you know, from what I can see. And yet I've got Giant gap. This side just gap under here. It's not as big as that V. Hmm. I made a screw up somewhere. I mean, it could be the door wants to come down a bit. It doesn't look like it. To be honest, I'm really confused because. Um, Get those gaps here. We're all lining up. Gaps, um, lines. Um, the seals are screw on, as you can see. Um, so yeah, a bit confused. Dot com. Why I'm confused is this bit of metal, this end here, this narrow strip, was original door panel. That was original, original height. This was a um, wing that I put on ages ago, years ago. Uh, so whether this needs to come up, it's too long there, and all the um, let's go back in here. These, this, uh, this step here was one that I put on. This metal here was, was metal that I put in, so maybe there's too much depth in there. That's the original sort of metal there. I think I remember I made up um, this piece here. It was rotten, and I made this piece up. So it might be that that's got to come up here all the way along. I know they've... Um, I've got to trim this top bit here, so maybe it's the same on the bottom. I've got to trim some of this off and re-drill the holes. Could be, can it? OK, I've done some measuring. Um, so if I could ask my two friends, um, Peter or Mr Cutman, if you wouldn't mind doing some measuring for me. Four tiny at the front, millimetres this is, sorry, Mr Cutman. Um, 440 at the back. Now the depth of, from that, that's from the swage line to the very bottom. Um, and then I've got uh, so that sort of fair. I mean a few millimetres here and there, ain't no matter. But I'm sorry, give me an idea. Four fifty-four at the back from. There, I, my gut feel at the moment is that um, is that this wing is too long, and oh, sorry, and uh, I've got a 25 mil, got a whole inch there on this drop, on this return, on this step. These steps are ones I bought from Fidgets, by the way, um, Peter. Um, because I think they should be trimmed to the top and bottom. That's what I got for you, is that I've got too much depth. <laughs> and I don't think, now I'm, you know, I'm going to look at some pictures, but I don't think it should drop there either. Where it comes underneath the, the hinge panel. I've got a drop. So 
I think, because uh, I've matched this bit of plate to this bit of plate, and I reckon what I should have done was trim the bit of plate first, you know what I mean? Anyway, that's enough mucking around with, with, uh, with Vincent for um, this weekend. I want to go in and um, make sure there's no army of giant hornets or whatever the hell it was that was uh, trying to kill me earlier, waiting for me with his brothers and sisters. Um, I'll catch up with you next week. See you later.